Welcome to Trading Caps Exclusive Analysis. Today's video is testing natural gas. Looking at the nat gas daily chart, first and foremost, I just want to say our members are net short off of this high pivot. Really, we've picked a really, really good entry off of shorting nat gas in the near term. Our KOLD's entry is right around this low of the parallel channel. And this parallel channel has been a thing of beauty for trading the KOLD inverse. Pivot high, pivot high, pivot high, pivot high. Pivot low, pivot low, pivot low. If you simply bought and traded around the high extension range of the channel and the low extension range of this channel, you would be likely very, very successful just by using simple position management and risk tolerance. So definitely a powerful channel to watch on KOLD. Now, all channels will break at some point. So just keep in mind that all channels at some point will break. Now, Nat Gas, the question is, how can we make money moving forward? Now, just because I'm net short in the near term and we've actually pulled profits off of this trade already, and I'm looking for a little bit more, I do think that there's a large opportunity to be bullish in Nat Gas. I think a big, big move is potentially being setting up here. And each day that ticks by, I'm becoming to get more and more bullish on Nat Gas. And I do think that there's a lot of opportunities. So, I mean, I'm looking to trade this one on the long side in the near and medium term once I get a couple signals that are confirmed by the actual commodity. Now, what I mean by the signals, what I'm personally looking for, first and foremost, we're going to dive into some moving average analysis, looking at the 50, we're turning on the 50 simple moving average and the 200. So every trader and investor should be well aware of the 50 and the 200 moving average. What are we looking at here? We're looking at the 200 moving average in blue the 50 moving average in purple. Look at the bullish upsloping trend of the 50. What is it about to do? It's about to cross over the 200. And what does that mean? That means that is called in technical terms, the golden cross. Investors love to see the golden cross because it means the medium and long term price trend is likely to be very bullish and yield more upside. So if you simply go back through history, I mean, you look at the bear, the death cross here results in lower price. Look at the, uh, Basically, this was a bullish cross that failed. It did yield a little bit of upside, but the fact of the matter is when you had this 50 upsloping with the 200 here, the 200 is in such a heavy downward trend. This time, the 200 is flattened out, being the fact that we formed a bit of a basing range here, stage one. But if you simply go back through history and you look at when you got those crossovers here, over here, the golden cross, it yielded pretty big moves to the upside and a very, very powerful trend that gives us the opportunity as investors and traders to buy the dip. Now, again, this cross has not happened, but it's looking very, very likely to do it. So in the near term, I think we get a small pullback, but I do think that this pullback may be short lived and it could be pretty much a, the last time to enter on the long side before we get a really, really big move to the upside. Now, if you're looking for what upside targets, I have some calculations. But I have to save those for a little bit of other videos and my members. But other than that, I thank you all for watching this video. Please hit that like button and we'll see you on the charts. And just be very, very careful and cautious with this asset. Every technical pattern in that gas can be tested and failed. So just keep that in mind. Any technical pattern in that gas can fail. And you have to be able to adjust very, very quickly because this can make outsized moves. Again, we are potentially running into a scenario where you also may see the markets start to move really, really strangely in accordance with who the market is expecting to win the U.S. elections. Is it going to be a Democratic election? Is it going to be a Republic election? We all know that Democrats are less about fracking and energy, and we all know the Republicans are more so. So time will tell which way it's going to go, but certainly... Mac gas is shaping up for a potentially bullish move.